A better look at our planet from space. Welcome back to Text a Nation. With us is NASA Pace Oceanographer, Dr. Ivana Sednich. Good morning. Good morning and happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. And there's no better time to take a look at the health of our oceans. And you have been working with NASA's newest satellite, Pace, launched just a couple of months ago. What are we learning? Oh, we're learning so, so much. Um, PACE, which stands for Plankton Aerosol Cloud Ocean Ecosystem, is NASA's new admission that got launched, as you said, three months ago. And since then, it's been insane. Data has been coming like crazy. And, and you know, we've been getting so much more that we have ever been able to see before. Uh, previously, we've been, you know, able to see just one color of the ocean, one greenness of the ocean. Now we can see so many different colors and understand better what's happening in the ocean atmosphere and just like global all the earth systems what is it about pace that enables us to to be so different in what it's showing us so pace um has several different instruments first one like the the, the mothership of the instruments it's called ocean color instruments so think about all the previous instruments that we had on previous missions can see five seven maybe 12 colors this one could see 250. So just imagine like how much more can you see and appreciate the world. We also have instruments that can look at the polarization. They can look at the uh, different parts of the earth from a different angles. And all that together gives us this unprecedented view of the oceans, atmosphere, and land. Um, just gives us better understanding of diversity of the teeny tiny things, both in the ocean and in the atmosphere. Now, tell us more about the, what it can do with the atmosphere. You're looking at the oceans, but you were also able to detect uh, particles in the atmosphere? Yes, yeah, so we're looking at the teeny things. And, and, and the atmosphere, uh, PACE is really focusing on aerosols. So these are like dust particles, um, you know, smoke, uh, sand, and, and things that we usually think about really being important for the air quality that impacts our health. So PACE is going to be able to differentiate in so much better way different types of air. So where are they coming from, how they're interacting with clouds and how they're impacting our, our, um, our air quality and our health. But ultimately, this interaction between these different types of aerosols and clouds impacts the way that we understand our climate. And that allows us to you know, predict much better what's going to happen with our changing planet. Well, we know that there have been extremes that we've been seeing in, in climate uh, last year. I think the warmest on record. Tell us about uh, what we're what we're learning here and how we can put it to use. Yeah, so as you said it beautifully, I mean, beautifully, sadly, uh, last year was the hottest one on record. And going forward, we're really not expecting to see any changes from that. Like currently, sea, sea, sea surface temperature is higher than we ever seen it before. Um, so combination of these observations that NASA is collecting, looking at this physical aspects, the temperature, um, you know, and other aspects of atmosphere and ocean is going to be combined with the information uh, coming from PACE. Um, you know, we, we have this information about the changing environment. Now we can start looking in deeper into information about changing ecosystem because ecosystem response and phytoplankton at the base of the marine food web. So if they start changing, everything in the ocean is going to start changing. So having this kind of view of the Earth is unprecedented to understand everything of our changing planet. And the hope is that you can uh, influence decision makers to come up with solutions and maybe be, be able to track how well solutions might be working. So the idea that we have behind NASA is that we want to do like 100% awesome science, you know, the best science possible, kind of push the limits of the science. And that's what we're doing. That's what we just did with the launch of PACE. Our data is freely available to everyone, not just in the U.S., but all around the world. So all this information comes together to support policy decisions, to support, you know, um, decisions about mitigation or anything and observe anything that we try to, you know, like, understand better and ultimately, hopefully, day-to-day -day decision from people and also policymakers. So how will you be celebrating Earth Day today? I will be going out to the forest and try to look for some mushrooms. <laughs> it's morale season and what better thing to do than celebrate, you know, um, Earth Day by, you know, taking the gifts from our mother, you know, Mother Earth. How wonderful. Where can people go to learn more about Earth Day and, and NASA's activities? 
Yes, uh, I mean, if you're not following us on all social media, we have a really active uh, presence. It's at NASA Earth, or you can go at nasa.gov slash earth. We can find a bunch of different material that can help you celebrate um, Earth Day in the best way possible. Dr. Ivana Setnich, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you. Happy Earth Day.